First of all, this is a standing ovation for you, my friend. That is, a, that is for you. Incredible. Um, this is not planned, but I gotta, since I have you here, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions because then you're going to go away and never, you know, leave us alone. Um, first of all, what are you dreaming about now? Like, what's, what's, what are you, what's next? Like, what are you dreaming about now? <laughs> so he, he's, uh, he wants to capture the, the stock market for the f tomorrow. So <laughs> he doesn't know that I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit smart. So <laughs> I think uh, uh, there's a lot of thing happening. Um, but as I mentioned to before that technology, how it drives, it's not, it's some, someone has said that it's not the, technology is not about how machines works. Technology is about how human work. And that's what is happening. We, we build technology and technology builds us. Technology is also changing us. It's a, it's a both way process. And, and the, what is the next step for that is all depend on what current technology is going to do to us. So a very simple example. Before social network, people were saying that, oh, there's no social network and then technology. Now is a social network is everywhere. People are not social on the, the, the table that I was eating. People, everyone is looking at their phone, right? <laughs> so technology creates new problems and then uh, <laughs> we, we like to build and, and solve those problems that build by technology also. So, yeah. And you have, you said 25,000 people under you? Numbers might be changing day to day, but yeah. According to you, you're like, you have 24,000. Get those guys out of there. Um, what do you look for? Like, because obviously, Young, like 35, that's makes you make me feel like crap. Thank you. Um, very young and very impressive. But what do you look for? Like you're obviously looking for like some sort of level of excellence. Like I'm talking about like not just like a resume, but just like what humanistic qualities does someone need to be on your team? You know, like so that would, that you would that you would be inspired by. I think the means one one thing people miss out like uh, miss one, I will tell you very simply when I moved to MIT that was my, my when I came to first time to US when I came to MIT I had a feeling next day I had a feeling that oh my god everyone around me is so smart how the come they took me like a dumb person like me I am standing in front of all these people that kind of feeling people always have I I always give people a message now now I understand that Leverage what you are good at. Don't try to, don't try to be someone else. Miss, why, why I'm doing all this interesting project? Yeah. It's nothing to do with uh, me knowing more technology than someone else or something like that. I'm applying the context and learning that I had in a small town in India, Palanpur. A farmer was doing this this way. Why can we not do that on a space, mi space mission of NASA? That's what is happening. People always think that the problem and solution of the something should come from the same place. I disagree. Maybe the, the Surrey might, the, the, the town or city of the Surrey, you know, this area might have some problem that solution might be in Africa. Some, some villager might have much better solution for that. And that's the exchange of technology I look for. I look for culture. I look for diversity. I look for people who have dreams. Uh, and that's what it matters. Yeah. Dude, I love that. Thank you very much. Pranav.